That is a huge pile of dirt. That is a lot of gold. <laughs> we found a nugget. <laughs> So we are back at the spot where we've been finding amazing gold using Barney, our super duper special purple high banker. But only this time, I won't set up the high banker wrong because we have Kyle, the creator of the high banker with us today to do all the setting up, all the work and leave me alone to just eat candy. So the plan of attack today is to work right here. As you can see, I've already worked here before and this is all boulders that I put on top of our previous workings. And now we're just gonna follow this line of hopefully gold and see what we find. So the first things first, we must establish a shelter to protect us from the rain because the last thing we want is for our dirt to get wet. This tarp is huge. All right, so I got that up there. That was a bit of a mission, fell a couple times. And now we're just trying to make a post for this corner over here. Kyle has the uh, ability to use a knife to sharpen a stick to make a post. So now that Kyle set this high banker up in record time, what did I do wrong when you saw me do it? I'm not really sure where to start, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> I had the mats on backwards. I had human legs on there. Everything was wrong, but this is how you're supposed to set up. I don't see any difference, but this is the right way, I guess. So my plan today is to dig up a huge pile of dirt. I wanna run more material than I have in the last two or three times I've used this high banger to really make sure that we find a lot of gold. And there's a chance we won't find as much gold too, because it looks like this spot is running out, but there's only one way to find out. So I'm gonna start by moving some of these bigger rocks out of the way, and then I'm just gonna follow straight, because I believe this is the line of gold, and it's kind of on the inside band too. So we're gonna start working here and hopefully get enough material to make a big pile that we can run. So just like last time, this material looks really, really good. It's packed full of gravel, it's really sticky, and I know that we're gonna find some good gold here. The real question is, how deep is it down to bedrock? Because that will let us know how much material we have to run. If I were to guess, I would say because the bedrock is so low down here, and there's a little bit popping up right here, this is probably a little slope, but you know, I don't know how deep it is. Let's start digging. <laughs> Something I do do, do do, when I high bank is I make a big pile of dirt before I run it. Rather than dig one scoop of material then dump it in the high banker for every single scoop, I find making a big pile first is not only easier, but it's just much more efficient. Big rocks are a good sign because it means that we're, we're, we're digging. <laughs> Okay, so we just cleaned out this little section here and this bedrock looks really, really good. As you can see, there's a crevice running this way. It, this actually slopes down, which tells us that there could be another crevice right here or it's just super deep right there. But also this crevice got my attention because we just pulled out some hard packed rock in here and this is where I found some gold last time in the crevices next to it. So I'm just gonna film this for a second here and hope, and hope to see something pop out. And these brushes are awesome. I forget where I got it and I forget how to get it and I forget what they're made of and I forget my name, but you should get these brushes. And these rocks aren't moving. So that is the kind of material we want. So our pile of dirt is actually looking way better. I must say it's way easier to dig dirt when somebody else is doing most of the work. But so like about twice this amount is how much I've probably run previously. But what I wanna do is make it like past the tarp it would be a perfect pile for us to run. So digging away, my theory was correct. This bedrock does go down into a nice little crevice because the bedrock on this side is going up. So it goes down and up like a roller coaster. Looking into this, you can see this beautiful material, decomposing bedrock, sticky material, material and rocks and more material. So there's material in here. And I'm just kind of hoping that we're gonna find some nuggets in there somewhere or even some packed rock. That's a packed rock right at the bottom there. So let's just quickly dig this out. So when you're high banking, what you wanna do is just get as much material as you can piled up so you can run it. It's the most efficient thing to do. But whenever I come across a crevice, that goes out the window because I just want a crevice in this little crevice of a crevice. So I waste a lot of time finding crevices and digging out crevices, but we can do both today. Slowly but surely, our pile got bigger and bigger and bigger. I want it to like, maybe like, yeah, pass the tarp. 
so I realized I was the only one digging for like half an hour. So I told Polly I really had to go to the bathroom and I've actually just been sitting over here for about 10 minutes just cooling down, relaxing a little bit. I have to say, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Amazing area to work and amazing gold. All right, so it's been a couple hours and our pile of dirt is looking way better. There's still a little bit more to go. We could call it now because it's more material than I have ran before, but we still have a lot of daylight left. And Kyle's now back from taking his four hour bathroom break, so. Just a little bit more digging, then we're gonna make a really big pile of dirt, and then we're gonna sluice it and see what we find. Okay, so this is the line where we started. So we started in here and we moved forward. And this is as far as we've gotten. We went down into there. And here, all this material looks awesome. But now, the pile is big enough where we can begin running. There is our last scoop. That is a huge pile of dirt. It's actually bigger than our high banker. For sure, this is the most amount of material that I've ever ran in the high banker, so hopefully, there'll be at least two specs. You excited? So excited. So excited! Are you excited? No! So excited! So what Kyle are gonna do is do what I always do every high banking video, and that's split it in half. So halfway through this pile of dirt, we're gonna do a cleanup, see what we're looking at. For the rest of the video, we're gonna do the second half and hopefully find two specs. So because this is almost two times as much dirt than I normally high bank, I'm expecting at least two times more gold because we are still in that same spot. So hopefully, gold! So I'm gonna give you the honors of the first shovel. Aww. All right, let's clean it up. It was super important I let Kyle take the lead on shoveling because I have to film and make sure everything is going smoothly and and digging sucks. <laughs> With the both of us digging, we're actually getting through this pretty quick. So in about five to 10 minutes, we'll actually do our first cleanup. Just like that, we are halfway done our pile of dirt. So let's do the first cleanup and see what we get. Okay, the water is slowing down now. Before I touch anything, I'm gonna wait for Kyle to get back here and we're gonna do a quick peek and see what we see. Oh, I already see gold right there. I already Speaking. see, in the first mat, I already see gold. Do you actually? In the top, yep, little specks. <laughs> you can see that. Actually, let's just open this up. We have, Oh, look at that. There's quite a few little pieces in there. Right yeah. there, look. Some specks right there. That's a piece. Where? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, we're looking pretty good. That's a good sign, there's gold when you see gold. Plus, in the first mat, in the first riffle even, that's uh, even better, because it means the mats are catching. So as long as you don't see any gold down there, we are golden. So I'll let you uh, clean out the mats here. Let's do it. I don't see any nuggets. Oh, I mean, there's gold all down here. Okay, are those bubbles or is that black sand? I can't tell. Bubbles. Oh, bubbles. Bubbles. Little bubbles. Bubbles. Oh, look, you got- Yeah, you look at all that gold. Okay, you got riffles in the riffles. There's gold right here. That piece. Oh, wow. Let's so. just put it back and let them grow. That is awesome. I know this spot is to be good with gold, so I'm glad we uh, high banked here. Another option was to high bank like rocks and trees, but the gravel seems to be where the gold is, so. I like how quick it is to clean out those mats. I figured we'd just do all of them. Yeah. Any nuggets stuck up in there? No, I don't see any. I've seen gold stuck in the screws before. Okay, let's go pan her out. Okay. What I like about these square pans is that gold always stays on the bottom. I noticed with those round pans, you find the gold on the edges and that's not supposed to happen. With this, the gold doesn't go on the edges, it stays in the bottom. Plus the more corners your pan has, the better it is. Yeah, we got this. We got this. We're good. Oh man, holy, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. There is some gold in there. That was a fast panning thing. Look, you do have a little nugget in there. Look at that. Yeah. Is that a, is that a specimen or is that a rock? Might be, I don't Here, know. 
I'm in the direct yeah, sunlight. Me... <laughs> okay, let's go in the shade for a sec. Okay, I decided to come underneath this tree here because the light is actually not really friendly. There's still so much reflection, but let's just yeah, get a little close here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. It always looks better in pans and under the water, right? But it and could it's everywhere. It is everywhere. That's, that's a little picker. Where where to go? Where to go? Oh, there it is. Nice pick a mic. Yeah, but I keep thinking that's a specimen. That actually might be. I think it is. Total picker. That is a picker. That's a picker, mate. All right, this is as good as we can get it right now. But there you have it. <laughs> some beautiful gold. You even got some down here. A little wiry piece. But yeah, again, no big nuggets, but that's no big deal. As long as you're seeing gold, you are in the eel. That, that rhymed it, it didn't make any sense. Okay, so we're halfway done, we have that gold, we have a lot more material to go. Let's go! Once we sucked up the loot, it was time for round two. Paul, what's your favorite kind of bird? I like the, uh, the vegetarian East African seagull monkey. Oh, good choice. So I'm just having a quick break here. I just want to address that. I've had a lot of comments asking me like, am I going to sell this sort of high banker? And Kyle also has been finding out that a lot of people have been asking him if he would sell the purple high banker. And I thought, what would you guys think if we actually partnered up and I made my own version of the purple high banker, also known as the super duper, super special purple high banker. I think it would be a really good idea. And I think Kyle is on board with it. So uh, excuse me. I haven't really talked to him yet, but I'm pretty sure. It'll be, it'll be fine. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a poly version of the purple high banker. As much as I don't really like high banking, one thing is for sure. Okay, we're getting closer. As you can see, we're now scratching the mat. So a little further and we'll do cleanup number two. Final scoop. Oh, maybe two more scoops left. Final scoop number two. All right. Woo. All right. We're gonna turn off the machine here. We're gonna have a look and hopefully find two specs. You did it. This is a drum roll. Do we get to eat tonight? What do you think? Good answer. Do we see? Go on. Oh, I'm wet now. Hurry up! I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh. All right, we found some gold. <laughs> cool. So there is still gold in here. Is that gold? Doesn't look like there's is enough gold? fine gold. That's oh, gold. Wow. There we go. <laughs> Looks like a little nugget. That is a nugget. That absolutely is a nugget. Oh, it is. Oh, it actually is. Oh, I thought that was a rock. No, dude, it's gold. That is a nice little Ooh. nugget. Let me get it. We found a nugget. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's at least a gram. Yeah, hard to say. It's always, it has thickness, so I would say like either half a gram to a gram. You get out of here, that's a gram. It's 10 ounces, obviously. Dude, look at that. <gasps> a rack. I'm always interested to see this gold under here. Okay, that's awesome. Look at, there's a bunch of bigger pieces in this one. It's a good sign that what? There when you find gold, gold there could be gold around. <laughs> Nice technique. Ah, was... Interesting technique you chose there. Thank you, I call it the roly poly. Yeah. I'm interested to see if there's gold on the bottom mat. We could pan that separately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little, dump it from, a little, how about up here? A little sploosh, not like a... There you go, nice. So square pen, you say. It does feel weird, but maybe I'm just not used to it. Hi. So there is a lot of sun reflection in here. I noticed when I was filming on the first run, so um, we'll try to show you here and then we'll go in the shade if it's better. Well, I already know we had some nice big pieces, but I want to know how much smaller pieces are in here too. Oh, that's way worse. That's worse? Okay, maybe. Yeah. Go this way. Yeah, okay. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared. 
Field. So we got a couple I see pieces. gold already. Yeah. yeah. More black sand in this one. Way oh, more. on this side too. Yeah. <gasps> a first piece of lead wire. Ooh. It's looking good. There, there is. <laughs> you, that's, I thought that was a rock. That's why I didn't really react to that. But that is a nice piece of candy. There and we got another There's one. There's some very. Oh, oh my, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. It's so hard to tell what has more gold, the last time we were high banking or here, but it all looks so good in the pan. I'm pretty sure this is, this wow. is. Wow. I don't know. We would have to weigh and find out, but yeah, that is yeah. so beautiful. Amazing. That one looks amazing too. Look, it's like a little, oh, yeah. little asteroid. Asteroid piece. Oh my God. I got Kyle to do the little cleanup because I'm not used to this pan. <laughs> Look at that. I love how it <laughs> sticks right out of the sand. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. You might yeah, be right. Man. They might be similar. I don't know. It looks good. It looks I, I'm awesome. happy other way. I'm complaining. Let's put that back. Yeah, screw it. So this is as clean as Kyle can get it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, this is this is good enough. We'll suck all this up and we we'll put all the gold into one, and then we'll weigh it, and then we'll figure out whether or not we got more gold than last time we high banked or less. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm ecstatic. Okay, we're dumping it all out. <laughs> Where'd that come from? A big piece of lead. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That was earlier. I found this earlier. Stupid. Yeah. Oh, that is so good. That looks like gold. Oh man, I guess. I don't even, I'm gonna say it's probably not even a, what's those pe uh, maybe, I'm gonna say uh, a gram. I think it's like at least two. Two and a half. Two and a half, uh, okay. I'll do 1.0. I what? think one gram. Whoever's closer gets it. Whoever's closer gets it. So we're gonna go back to the house, we're gonna weigh the gold, and whoever gets the closest to the number that we guessed, gets to keep it. So, let's weigh it! So here's the gold that we found today. It's actually a lot more gold than I thought we would find. We had a bigger pile of dirt, so it makes more sense that we would find more gold, but I honestly didn't think there was this much when I looked at it at the river. The two big pieces that we've got is this nugget, looks kinda like a nugget, and this little guitar nugget. That probably weighs about 12 ounces. So before we weigh this monster nugget, we're just gonna weigh the little stuff foist. Kyle's guess was two and a half grams for all this gold, and I think mine was one gram, but I'm... I think you upgraded that to one and a half. I upgraded to one and a half. You had doubts. I had doubts. So let's weigh the fine stuff first. Whoever gets this right, wins it. I was gonna guess 12 ounces, but... So one or two, there's... <laughs> that's what I guessed. <laughs> But now we have a nugget to go. So, okay, that's uh, 1.47. We're gonna tear it. So now it's back to zero. A million grams. 0.76, so that's over two grams. So the total is, it's obviously gonna be over two grams and I lost, so Kyle gets his gold. 2.23 grams. Yeah. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. This is not a promotion, but it's just self-explanatory. You can find gold with this high banker. If you're interested in getting your own, cruxprospecting.com, but leave a comment down below if you want to see us team up so I can have my own purple version of the high banker that will be available to you. Mm. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>